Hi, Pastor Bob here from TLC Church. We are still working with the letter A, or the first letter of people's names in the Bible. Do you know we have 15 more pages of A's? Well, we won't do them all, of course. Some of them we don't even know. We've never heard of, you know. Uh, and some have very little information. Some have a whole lot. Today's letter A person is Adonijah. Do you know who Adonijah was? Adonijah was the fourth son of King David. And Adonijah should have been the next king, but God wanted Solomon to be the next king. Solomon was David's son also. So uh, <clears throat> Adonijah decided that he was going to be next king, and he, he tried to set himself up as the next king. He offered a bunch of animals and, and had a big party going on with his followers and he was going to be the next king. Well, Nathan, the prophet, came in and told uh, David and Bathsheba, you know, you're going to get the kingdom stolen from you because uh, Adonijah's out there celebrating. He's going to be the next king. David said, no, he's not. We're going to crown Solomon right now. So they crowned Solomon as the next king. <laughs> but Adonijah made a stupid mistake. He wanted, he wanted to marry Abishag. Isn't that a weird name? Abishag. Who was she? Well, she was one of David's concubines. And if Adonijah would have married her, he would have had right to the throne. But Solomon saw through it. He said, you know, I can't do that. I can't allow him to marry Abishag. Listen to what he says. He says, it's only because of God's will that I succeeded my father because Adonijah is older than I am. Uh, if I let him take Abishag, I might as well give him the whole kingdom. And you know what Solomon had to do? <laughs> it happened a lot in the Old Testament. Listen, then Solomon ordered Benaiah, the commander of the king's special guard, to go and execute Adonijah, which he did. He had to do away with Adonijah because Adonijah was working things, uh, you know, behind the scenes to try to take the kingdom away from King Solomon. Th that old story is found in the first two chapters of First Kings. Read those. It's such an interesting thing. Father, we just thank you for these stories that are in the Bible that help us to know that God is in control and his will will be done. We thank you for his power and his glory and his might because he saves us from so many difficult times. In Jesus' name, amen.